Alright dude, I think this is it for real. <laughs> So one thing I really like about having this job is that I'm not like fully a skateboarder. It gives me something else to do. It's funny because I'm at the point where I like, I don't really need to do them anymore, but I don't want to let them go yet. So I start in Orange County. I load this thing up with a bunch of bone broth and soup and frozen coolers. And then we're going to San Diego. We have a kitchen over here and I'm just going to like restock it for some of our other guys who do uh, San Diego markets. So yeah, just do this and then we usually get like a couple hours to go skate or jump in the water or eat lunch. And then I set up for the Carl's at Market. I feel like right now it's just like the best thing I could have that like works with the spontaneous skate life, you know. <laughs> so this is like a random bakery and we just rent a space and we have a, some of our stuff in their freezer here. I am kind of restocking them. We got some empty crates. This is perfect, dude. Normally they're like all baking right here. So that'd be funny to explain. When I started working here, we like worked out of the boss's garage. And it's, dude, I've seen it grow so much in three years. This one's one of my favorites, wild mushroom biz. So good. Okay. All right, that's it. And we'll take these. And we're out. Should we go? I, I usually like to hit the pump track on the way. It's like a good little workout midday. Pump there for a little, and then if I have time, jump in the water maybe? Should we do that? Sometimes I like to skate it barefoot for some grounding action. <laughs> it's usually empty. And it's funny because sometimes I like, sometimes I like when it's crowded. It's like, it's like a vibe, you know? And then you're dodging people. It was probably like two years ago now. It was a crowded day and I was doing like the, there's two tracks there, but you can transfer it. And it's super fun and exhilarating because you're kind of like weaving through people and whatnot. So whatever, this younger girl, she's like on the side I'm going to land on, but she's up on the rolling. So she's out of the way. And then right when I'm in air, she just decides to roll down on her bike, I swear. Well, let's get the clip in there. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh! And the angle looks like she's already on the track and like I just was oblivious and just like nailed, like, yeah, like ran right into her. But her dad was like, dude, you should still do it. You should do it again. Like we were all good. We were all friends. No one got hurt, but lesson learned. Don't transfer when it's that crowded. <laughs> This place has pretty much become a ritual for me on my Wednesdays. I mean, even if I stop here for 20 minutes, it's just like a great quick workout before I am at the market for the rest of the day. And like any chance I get to not wear shoes, I'm about it. I love this place. That was my favorite thing to do here is like hit the little dirt corners. <laughs> Only shade spot here. Yeah, we won't last too long here. Whoa! Oh, scary. I tried that. <laughs> Dude, I've never been here empty when it's empty. I think it was the first time. Oh yeah, come on. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, you want to look at the forbidden transfer? Okay, let's go. And maybe we should just do it right now. I've never done it barefoot, but I feel like it's the same. 
Yeah, so basically, super crowded day. I was going here and she was just up there chilling. She was just standing there and then she rolled in like right when I was landing. Could have been way worse. Should we do it right now? Yes. Just uh, no bailing allowed? Cause that's gonna suck. Okay, yeah, first try. Let's do it. No! <laughs> it's okay, it didn't hurt. That was stupid, what was that all about? Right here, staying on my board no matter what. Come on. Ah! Oh my gosh. That was a good grounding session. Let's try to jump in the water before the market. I think we got a little time. So hot, dude. Whew. That's fun though. Glad you made me do it again. Ready for some ocean time real quick, cool off, and then uh, work the market, try to sell some soup in 90 degree weather. Should be sick. <laughs> All right. It's actually a good street for van camping. Yeah, this is my, my secret little beach spot. Undisclosed location. I like it because it kind of feels like Costa Rica or Hawaii vibes with all this right here, you know? It's pretty. Harsh winters in California, eh? <laughs> All right, here. Just getting a quick dip in the ocean. I like to cool off before I have to sit at the market for like five hours. So blessed to be able to work a farmer's market like right by the beach. Driving into the cluster of Carlsbad Market. Yeah, it's kind of a nightmare in here sometimes. I feel like I should just snake in there. Brodino? Perfect. They got new employees here and they act like they don't know who we are. Come on. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What's up, Ava? <laughs> it's tight in here. So I basically have to pull over as tight to here as I can and then unload. Will that be enough for people to get around? No. Whatever. Yeah, we'll just do this fast. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? How are you? <laughs> so this is exactly what we don't want to happen. When you pull up, and then you got people behind you right away waiting. So I'm gonna just go as fast as I can. It's kind of fun having different worlds and different communities, you know? Half the people there don't even know I skate. So like, they know me through that. Like, they know me as the soup guy. <laughs> I love it. And then it's cool, because in skateboarding, like, a lot of people don't know I work the farmer's market, so. Appreciate you guys. All right, let's roll. It's always stressful, and yeah, thankfully, I have like the best neighbors ever, and they always help me. There's a line behind, but yeah, it's the blood pumping. <laughs> hey, Brock. Yeah, these are all full of frozen soups. They're heavy. Good workout. This is cool. This is how we raise the table. My boss is a clever little invention. Why are you going through my booth? <laughs> He's just showing off for the camera. He's kind of looking at jobs in the health and wellness field. And I found this on Craigslist. <laughs> so random. But yeah, and I mean, it's like, you can't beat it. You get to work outside, get to talk to friendly people, get to try all the goods here, all the local goods. I mean, there's so much. Yeah, I don't know, it's fun. Oops. Oh my gosh, are you sure? What's this? 
mortadella from Italy and grilled cheese from France. Merci. And cornichon. This here is Chef Christophe. We met just because they put us next to each other. At first, he was kind of uh, kind of mean to me. No, he's a paranoia guy. He liar. He lie. I'm. <laughs> no, but now we're like best friends. But no. We started on no, a rough patch. No, you're not my best friend. What do you speak about? <laughs> Never mind then. You're my brother. No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's my kid. No, 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 it's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Want to try any samples? I like the taste. Of yeah. It, yeah. It's just coming out right now. Pozole Verde, yep, so it's green. It's got the hominy, the shredded chicken in it. It's got a nice little kick to it. Yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? I do. <laughs> All right, cool. Stocking up, huh? All right, well, you enjoy these. See you next time. It's like half the job just hanging out and like making friends, you know, and, and talking. And I love not just skateboarding. I love being in health and wellness too. You know, I get to eat some of the soup that I sell, which is amazing. Living in the van, it's like such an easy thing. It's frozen, you just dump it in a pot and heat it up. This is the million dollar Oceanside view. Me and my friends call this spot prime real estate. Cause it's probably the primest real estate parking spot you can get in Oside. And all the houses around here are million dollar houses, but we're kind of, kind of mooching, sorry. The cool thing about this area is it's mostly vacation rentals. So people just come in and out. So no one really knows who we are and what we do. And if anything, we're kind of more local than they are, you know? There's a lot of other van people around here. So as long as you stay respectful and stay clean and it's all good. I move every day. I'm never in the same spot. Oceanside's like, my actual home, away from home. I mean, I go other places, but I just love parking here. It's so easy to van life here. 50 steps and you're down at the water. Can't beat it. <laughs> this is usually the crowd favorite. It's like the first thing people notice. They're like, oh, you got a spice rack. And this is all powered off solar. So I got two, uh, 200 watts of solar on top. And when it's sunny like it is today, it's pretty easy to get charged. But on the gray, rainy days, it's not so good. So there's cameras in here and then there's also a PC so I can like yell at people. And so when I first started the van and I was like kind of sketched out everywhere, I'd hear like any little noise and I would just like turn this TV on without having to open the door, you know, I could just like turn it on and just, so you could see it's got the rear and the front. It's pretty cool. These two I need to fix, but it's kind of been beyond me. <laughs> so these are mostly stickers made by friends or myself. I tried to get away from just putting cool skate brand stickers on there, you know? I actually made these a while back, think while well, it's still legal. And we got some other ones. MPS, Montana Pool Service. Jeff Immense actually gave this to me from Pearl Jam. The Office is one of my favorite shows when I do watch TV, so I have to have a couple Office stickers on. These are just a couple magnets from places I've been to. Actually, this one, I'm so bummed, it fell off today. I need to fix it, but this was like one of my favorites. The Appalachians in North Carolina, such a beautiful photo, but fell off today, so. Honestly, living in the van, it's like made me have no morning routine because it kind of depends where I wake up at. Making a warm drink is a staple. I do that every morning, no matter what. Dude, of course, the milk's all the way on the bottom. I actually haven't drank coffee in like six years. So, um. I've really gotten a lot of enjoyment out of just like seeing how weird you can get on the warm drinks because I still love the ritual of making a hot drink in the morning, you know? I think that's what people like about coffee and they don't even know it. Like it's not the coffee, it's just like the warm drink in the morning. One day I had a gnarly panic attack while driving and I was just wired on coffee. Ever since then, dude, it, it freaked me out. I had pretty bad anxiety after. It, it like messed me up and obviously like there was other things going on in my life to lead to that, but the coffee is kind of what set me over, you know? So I went full like straight edge for three years, like no coffee, no, no stimulants really. Made me feel so good. Who even needs coffee when you got all this, right? I always thought it'd be pretty funny to just sell drinks outside the van, <laughs> barista van. Cause I do like making drinks for people. The frother is essential. Wouldn't be the same without it. 
right. Cheers. Salud. Oh, yeah. I think it's a good one, dude. I think you'll like it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Worst part of the day, putting on socks and shoes. And I got this ankle brace right now because kind of coming off the mend, this injury. The cool thing about getting hurt is you always get a chance to like sit back, reflect, and gain a new perspective on skateboarding. And then just form all these new ideas. Because when you're in it, sometimes you don't take the time to do that. But every time I'm hurt, I feel like I come back and I typically get better or just like have a different approach. So I kind of love that. Like when I get hurt now, I mean, it's still a bummer, but it's not like the worst thing because I know something good will come out from it, you know? I kind of like the board on the back because it's like an armrest. <laughs> Skateboarding, like, it gives you a whole new view on the world. I mean, now, like, I have the skateboard eye forever, so, like, driving around, riding around my bike, like, whoa, what's that, what's that? Like, you're just looking at concrete obstacles and weird spots, and it's, it's a funny thing, but I feel like it's healthy, you know? It kind of just, like, keeps your brain going, it keeps you thinking, and it keeps, like, the creativity alive. Brand new curbs, freshly painted. They're asking for it. We shot a photo here recently before they were painted. We timed it when it was like the king high tide, so we got a photo slapping and the wave like splashing me as I'm doing it. They put in the O-Sider mag, I was pretty stoked on that. And then literally right after it came out, the city painted all the curbs. So I've been working on waxing them and breaking them in. Let me see how they're looking. Yeah, you can see some marks right here. And this one too. That was part of the morning ritual. He's living his best life. <laughs> oh, there's a kicker right now. Huh? <laughs> this is the amphitheater. So this is the first handrail ever attempted. Mark Gonzalez in an 80s contest. He didn't land it, but he just tried it. And like everyone couldn't believe it. So yeah, rumor is this is the first one ever attempted. And then I think Nottis actually landed the first one. It's so sick, dude. They've been doing a lot of developing Five years ago, these were all parking lots. And now look at them. It's all high rises, restaurants, hotels. Used to be free parking, now it's all paid parking. That's just life, I guess. Gentrification. I love doing this because by the time you get to the skate park, your legs are already warmed up, you know? It's a good start to the day. I think our buddy Brent's gonna meet us here soon. Warm up a little, maybe get a phone clip, and head out. Yeah, I'm gonna put some fresh wheels on because there's no better feeling than fresh wheels at a nice skate park. It's time. These are a little worn out, so. Gonna put on some OJs, Elite. We're going inside out today. All right, this is gonna be fun. I love new wheels at a skate park. Might be slipping around though. Maybe I'll leave these, leave these for someone because they do still have life in them. I've met like almost all my friends through skateboarding. I mean, it's a great community, as you know. So there's that, and then there's just like the expression of being able to do it and then like, you know, maybe having an idea or a dream and then like turning into reality, documenting it, putting it out on the interweb, like, I don't know, there's so many cool aspects about it, you know?
Brent just got here. It's my guy, this is my filmer. We're gonna mess around, maybe get a little phone clip here, and then we're gonna check out a ditch nearby, try to get a real clip. All right, should we try it? Yeah. Okay. The rule for Instagram, try to keep it under like five tries. Otherwise, you might as well bust out the real camera. All right, is it? Oh, that was trash. Yeah. Dude, you down for a few? <laughs> yeah, take your time. Sorry, Brent, love you. Get it. I'm the worst, I always do this. Was that a little more inverted? That was inverted. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that. Sick. Thank you, Brent. Good stuff, good stuff. Sorry for the fuss. All right, got the first part over with. Go skate a real spot now. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Yeah. It's kind enough to pull up so we can throw our bikes in, don't have to bike back. Yeah, once he got the van, I was all in. But I want to customize it. Dang, Brandon, you got a long ways to go, dude. Yeah. So how's your injury recovery? Like my ankle's good. I'm just wearing a brace right now for extra protection. But uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I was like sitting out for like two and a half, three weeks. I'm surprised you're already skating. <laughs> I know, right? I don't have any, I'd love to skate a spot by the beach because it's so hot today, but maybe we just keep it at 760 ditch. Yeah. Dude, even Bishop ditch is act. Has anyone done a switch nose bone slide on that? Switch nose bone, I've never seen that trick on Bishop ditch. Huh. I feel like you got that. We don't have wax, do we? Uh, I have some wax in the, in the bag. Dang. All right, change of plans. No more 760 ditch, we're going to Bishop ditch. This is one of those spots that everyone skated and everyone's filmed at. So there's been a lot of tricks done, so there's not many there's not too many tricks available at this point. It's kind of a no-no in skateboarding to uh, do a trick that someone's already done and like film it and put in a video part. So I'm gonna try something that I think hasn't been done, but of course I haven't seen every video, so you never know. Try a switch nose blunt slide. I've been practicing lately, they've been feeling good. So I feel like this is the right spot for it. A big part of skating is like finding a trick and then the right spot for that trick. That's like my favorite part about skating is like find that spot. You're like, yes, that's the one for that. Oh, I'm like ducking out of habit, but I don't need to duck. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of jealous that uh, I could just stand in here. You want your board and your backpack? Uh, just my bag and I guess I'll bring my board too. All right. Make this quick. It's pretty dirty. And I don't think we have a broom, huh? I've been telling Brent that he should put a broom in his van yeah. for like five years now. Check the <laughs> well, I can help you. I'll clean it. Yeah. Whoa, the gate's locked. What? Wait, that's the run up. I have bolt cutters. <laughs> He's got the bolt cutters, but no broom. Weird. I've never seen this locked in the whole like 10 years I've been coming here. Sometimes skateboarding involves not skateboarding. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's going. Come on. Oh. Macho man. Well, now I better land the trick. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of work to do. It's like really dry and hard dirt. And this will be our broom skateboards. We're gonna leave the dirt clump in the middle, so I'll just slide around it, and we'll make a little narrow pathway. Okay. Like, that should be enough room to come in. Okay. This dirt's like hard, dude. So what was the first trick you filmed here? First trick I ever filmed here? Yeah. Maybe like a tail slide? <laughs> dude, that had to have been so long ago. Actually, fun fact, I think the first time I met Brent was at the skate park over here when we were kids and you had a YouTube channel and I was like a big fan. <laughs> and I think I made it in, in one of your montages. And then we started skating the streets. We're both YouTubers. I used to always have the little handy cam and edit videos on Windows Movie Maker. All right, spot's a little dry, so we're gonna give it a little love, make it slide. You need some Slappy Reds wax. <laughs> Just a red curb. This is my lazy way of waxing. 
Just sit on your skateboard and roll. It's a nice hack. Pro tip. I have new wheels. Hopefully I don't flat spot them. You're not supposed to blunt slide on new wheels. All right. What do you think, Brand? From inside or up top? Looks kind of cool like this. Here, let me see. This man's got the vision. <laughs> I can be a micromanager when it comes to filming. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I think up top. Up top? Might look the best right okay. now. I think it'll work. Let's see if I can blunt fake it. Okay, that's all it is coming in. Try some blunt slides, see if it slides. Look at all this run-up we have now. <laughs> okay, basically the same thing, just come and switch. You all warmed up now? Yeah, I think we got this. No battle today? No battles, man, no battles. It's bad because I have a hard time quitting. Yeah, he's so persistent. Like, we'll be three, four hours deep into filming just one trick, but I think that's what makes him such a great skater because he doesn't give we'll stop up. Stop it. Yeah, in the video part, it's like three, four seconds. In real life, it's like hours. And sometimes I feel like you get more of a reaction over clips that you might have been just kind of joking around. Yeah, the and easy clips. The easy, the easy, relatable, funny clips. I guess that's just how it goes. Yeah, I'm all set up, so let's do it. All right, let's get, we're gonna do this quick. I, I can feel it. Oh, dude, the hardest part's rolling in switch, I think. It's a good start. Yeah. First one you slide's going down. I know, dude. Right here. Oh, there okay. it is. Okay. Now it's sliding. Okay, next one. Next one. Yeah, right here. Oh! Wow. I would have came right in on the dirt pile. I guess that's just how it's going. I think it's important as a filmer to know the skater and kind of adapt to how they work. And I try to be supportive, but at the same time, just kind of let them do their thing and they know I'm here for moral support if needed. I wasted that one. It's okay, third one's the charm. Oh boy. I feel like the rolling's part of the trick. Yeah, it's kind of sketchy, it's nice. Good things take time. Yeah. Okay, right here. I was thinking too much about things. And the little things get in your head. Now I'm gonna do it. He had a big twig. I don't know, I think he has a little OCD. Just a little. Yes! That's how it's done. That one felt good. The feeling of accomplishing something after working for it, putting your blood, sweat, and tears into it, you know? It's it's insane. I mean, it's still like kind of crazy to me that I'm finally hit the point where I can make a living off of it. And I also don't know how long it'll last, but I'm just like enjoying it and pushing as hard as I can right now. Well, I'm gonna clock out now, Brent. Clocking out? Yeah, I'm clocking out. <laughs> All right, let's close the gate. This never happened. Let's uh, see if we can secure it back up. All right. No trace left behind. Let's eat. Let's eat, yeah. man. Deserved it. Tengo hambre. <laughs> Mucho. También. And look who we have here. The man himself. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Good day, you guys.